Thoreau talks about the way that most men go to the grave without having sung the song that's inside them. And there's a way in which you can characterize spiritual work as helping us to sing that song that's inside, to really free us and to release our full potential so we can be fully ourselves in the world. Well, I think the first thing is gratitude. That's the simplest, isn't it? There's a tradition in Wales describing how it, the thing that's most important is praise above all, is to praise and bless what you see around you in the world uh, already. <laughs> praise what's already right. Look at what's already right. So my feeling is when the sun rises, say hello. <laughs> Feel those first rays on your body and your face. Lift your arms up and say thank you. Thank you for making it back. And when the sun sets, do the same. Say farewell. Our ancestors have done it. It was a good idea 60,000 years ago and it's a good idea now. Sunrise, sunset. When I sit down to eat to give thanks, not just to God in whatever form you might worship for giving you the food, but for the food itself. <laughs> you know, for the animals that may have died, for the plants that have given their lives, so that you could continue to exist. So I mean, that's one thing, and that gives you three times a day to be grateful. So I think that's one thing that's really important. I think getting up in the morning, and the first thing is praise, to welcome the dawn, um, and to praise the fact that, ah, oh, you know, here I am waking up another day. Thank, thank Goddess, thank God, thank Creator, thank everybody uh, that enabled me to be here. Thank the ancestors. <laughs> Human beings seem to be preoccupied with subjects that aren't really helpful to be preoccupied about. And in a, in a very simple, practical way, I think, you know, when I, like, like, like a first step is, is, is so obvious and so easy, it's the TV. You know? And you've got, you know, 30 channels or something more. And how much is worth watching? I mean, but there's maybe one on one evening, you know, twice a week or something. And the rest, you can really do without, I mean, you know. And, you know, and this isn't to be puritanical and say, we must all throw our televisions away and all the rest of it. You know. But really, it's so symbolic, I think, of where we've come to in the world. If you go out every week and you have to buy something and buy something and buy something, you know what my grandmother said that is? It's trying to fill a space that can never be filled because material things cannot fill your spirit. It must be the way you walk your journey. That's what it must be. There was a wonderful thing I heard Yogi Bhajan say about this sort of consumer culture. And he says, we buy as though we were staying here. <laughs> I thought it was great because that is what we're doing. Buy, buy, buy in the denial of death. <laughs> All this junk I have <laughs> is, you know, but how am I going to contribute to the next generation? Yeah, there might be a few things I'll hand on to my daughters and they, to their grandchildren and so forth. But what we're really handing on is the world and the kind of human beings that are in it. That's what we're really handing on.